Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and we're tackling um, something that might come up on the first five problems of the GED where you don't have a calculator. You might be asked to simplify an expression um, uh, without a calculator. So if you take a look here, this says simplify. And again, I'll just remind you guys, simplify is just a generic word that means obey the oper operation symbols, basically. So I see an add symbol, I'll add. I see a multiply symbol, I'll multiply. Okay, and then it says, um, do not use a calculator. So I just need to remind you, uh, anytime you see more than one operation here, so see how I see both addition and multiplication, anytime there's more than one operation in an expression, you are going to fall under uh, a rule of math known as the order of operations. You're going to need to apply this order of operations, or it's equivalent if you know... Um, there's some things that work the same as the order of operations, but you would have to know that in order to use them. So if you don't know that, all you know is the order of operations, that's all you're going to be able to resort to. Okay, so order of operations say the first step is to handle any groupings. A lot of different types of groupings. Don't have any in this problem, so I'm going to skip right past it for now. Second step is to do exponents. Again, exponents, uh, none in this problem because exponents are those little floating numbers, the powers, and their inverses, the roots or radicals. Sorry, that's messy. I was trying to draw a little check mark house. Let's try that one more time. Radicals. Okay, but the third step, the next thing you would usually tackle in the order of operations is any multiplication or division. Multiplication and its inverse division. And I do see some multiplication in this problem. So I'm going to go ahead and tackle that. 2 times 6 is 12. Now, whenever you have a multi-step, um, expression that you're simplifying, you should be a good mathematician, making sure each uh, line of your uh, expression is equivalent to the one before. I'm going to say that again. Each expression that you write is equivalent to the one on the line before. So what you do is, if you replace that 2 times 6 with a 12 there, you're going to drop the plus that you haven't used yet, drop the 5. And then we'll go right underneath that to give ourselves 5 plus 12, and that is 17. Fourth and final step is any addition, and it's inverse, it's opposite. The opposite of addition is subtraction. Great. So answer here is 17. Fairly simple order of operation problem, but we're going to be looking at some more complex uh, problems in the days uh, in the days to come here. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer it.